such a nice presentation. Thank you. Dear sisters, it is with great pride that I stand here among you to show international support to you, women wage peace and women of the sun. I can see hundreds of brave and strong women surrounding me, and you are not alone. We share a common dream, a dream of a better future. We will not repeat all mistakes from history. We believe we can live in peace. I can hear your voices. They are expressing years of suffering experiences over this conflict, over violence and of limitations on your freedom and prospects for a better future. Therefore, we need to create structures and processes, both official and unofficial, to handle and speak out about these pains and these sorrows that years of violence has embedded within you. We need to be able to tell the different stories, to listen to everyone, and to avoid repeating only one truth. To acknowledge the personal sufferings is to be seen. Sisters, the divide between people is unnatural. The fact that we share more than separates us is no cliché. By separating us and dehumanizing the other, the conflict can be kept alive. And it's an easy trick for authoritarians to build their politics on. Revenge and hatred can be nourished easier towards strangers. Therefore, it cannot be said often enough that women need to be part of the solution to peace, and women's voices must equally be heard in decisions on the future. When women are part of peacemaking, the achieved peace has been more lasting. Women provide for an inclusive society where every child can feel important where every girl can be protected from violence and early marriage, and the children can believe in their dreams once again. The UN Resolution 1325 wants to ensure our governments, that our governments carry this responsibility to promote gender equality and women's rights in a systematic and ambitious way also when it is about ending conflicts and building peace. This commitment cannot be carried out without the women, without all women participating, both in society and in the families. Thus, hope and trust will build on, and future generations can see living together in peace as a default. There is nothing to learn from violence, nor anything to gain from hate. Violence turns off the dreams of our children and brings revenge and hate into their souls. We must stop that from happening. Your voices need, therefore, to be heard today, tomorrow and every day to make peace and bring a safe day closer. Women want the violence to stop now. It is time for decision makers to listen. Yes. 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 Finally, I would have a personal wish here. I would like you to turn to the woman standing next to you or sitting next to you. Please thank her for being here. Thank her for her courage. Tell her that your thoughts for her will follow her in all her efforts to stop war and violence and make peace. Wherever she will be, she is not alone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Eva. Thank you, Finland, for being with us here today. Another European country is sending um, not only a regional member of its parliament, but a woman who moved mountains 